Hey guys, this is gonna be a quick review of the Spire Kamek, which is a mousepad that I think has flown under a lot of people's radars. I've had it for about a month, and what I can say is that while initially I wasn't a huge fan of it, after spending some time with it in game, it really grew on me. So right off the bat, the thing that sets this mousepad apart from other mousepads on the market is the 10 year warranty it comes with. Yes, you did hear me right, it comes with a decade long warranty, which is pretty unheard of. Now in terms of the pad itself, it is a control pad, and it does have a lot of stopping power. I think if you're a fan of control pads, you're really gonna like the surface. I do have to say it does come with that tuggy feeling that some people don't like, myself included. However, whenever switching over to glass mouse gates, about 90% of the tugging went away, and I was left with a gliding experience I could definitely get behind. It still feels slow and controlled, but now it feels smooth as well. It is four millimeters thick and very squishy, so you can squeeze out a little bit more control if that's what you're after. Like I said, if you're already a fan of control pads, I think you're really gonna like the surface. I saw some people compare it to an Artisan Zero, which I don't have one to compare it to, but to me this pad feels like a slower GSR SE Rouge almost. At least in terms of speed, but the way it feels on my skin actually reminds me a lot of the SteelSeries QCK. If you're already familiar with the QCK, I would describe this pad to you as a higher quality QCK with a 10 year warranty. And that's not me throwing shade, this isn't what I would describe as just a QCK clone. It's different enough to not be a clone, but in terms of the feeling of the skin and the speed of the glide, it's pretty similar. In terms of build quality, it's pretty well put together, but there is just a little bit of inconsistency in the stitching. Some parts look very clean, while others look a little messy, particularly this spot where the stitching comes together. Which, by the way, is almost level, but not quite. You can definitely see it when I zoom in. It's not awful, and it didn't bother me too much, but I know some people are picky when it comes to stitching, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Another thing to mention is that the logo is also raised, and when the mouse goes over it, you can 100% feel that. Thankfully, it is small and out of the way in the corner, so I never really had that issue in game. But in case you're wondering, yes, you can feel that. Now, as far as the base of the pad, they're using this texturized rubber, which if I press down hard enough, I can move just a little bit, but it's really difficult. And I would say it's pretty adequate because I never had any issues with it while in game. One of my favorite things about this mouse pad is this steel gray color. It contrasts very nicely with just about any mouse that I've tried, and for some reason it works very nicely with my webcam. And I think this might just be my new go-to whenever I need to record a tutorial with a mouse cam. Now one thing I do want to point out is the packaging does say that it's spill proof, which I was immediately skeptical of because even Cordura pads like the Cooler Master MP510 aren't spill proof, they're spill resistant. But I do have to give them credit, it is spill resistant, again not spill proof, but I think it's also going to have a little bit of humidity resistance because of this as well. Even though I'm personally not a huge fan of control pads, I still enjoyed my time with this pad. And if you're in the market for a new control pad and you want a 10 year warranty with it, this is a pretty good option. In fact, it might be the only option when you get that specific, but that's beside the point. I do want to give a thank you to Spire for sending this out to review. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. And if you want to see some videos of some other mousepad reviews I've done in the past, then here's a playlist on screen now.